Today, I will show you 10 creative ideas for iPhone photos. All techniques are very easy to reproduce and should serve you as inspiration. Let's start with a special perspective. As you can see, I took this photo of me from the bottom up. Photographed from the bottom up, subjects look much more dominant and larger. To recreate this, turn your iPhone upside down and place it on the ground. For the right angle, you need to put something under your iPhone. Then to take the photo, I used a timer of 10 seconds. By the way, I used an iPhone 13 Pro for all the photos in this video, but you can easily do most of the techniques with other iPhones. For this first photo, I used a standard lens. You can also get interesting results when you are surrounded by tall buildings or trees. This second photo also has something to do with perspective. This technique is also called flat lay photography. I am not a hobbyist, but to show you an example of this kind of photography, I made some clouds. The important thing here is of course the blue background, and that the picture is well exposed. A closed window would work well as a light source. The sun should not shine directly on the scene, of course. I also took this photo with the standard lens. The hand then gives it a somewhat surreal effect. Photographing hands can basically lead to interesting results. And this is my third idea. Here I took some photos of my hand on a wall. I just made some weird figures with my hands and then applied the black and white filter to the photo. I took these pictures with the telephoto lens. As you can see here, this is a very simple wall and the shot was taken around noon in direct sunlight. Because what makes the photo more interesting are the shadows. With a combination of light and shadow, you can get interesting results even without hands. And that brings us to the next idea. Shoot light and shadow. Especially in combination with a black and white filter, it can look very interesting. Here, for example, I took a photo of a piano. The sun shines in from the window and onto the piano. This creates an interesting composition of light and shadow. I took the photo with the standard lens and then edited it directly using the Photos app and the app Snapseed. Basically, if you're still looking for apps to edit photos on your iPhone, I recommend Snapseed or even Adobe Lightroom. Both apps are free. And I want to show you one more idea for taking pictures in black and white. This one was taken using the portrait mode and the lighting effect stage light mono. This photo is straight out of camera and has not been edited. I took it with the telephoto lens, but the standard lens is also good for this. You activate the portrait mode and choose stage light mono. You can also add or remove the lighting effect afterwards. As you can see, this is not a shooting situation that would be particularly difficult to prepare. The idea with the butt didn't work completely, but it still made for an interesting photo. In this photo, I had help and did not have to photograph my own hands. Especially if you are alone, small tripods can be a great help. In the video description, you can find some links to my favorite accessories for iPhone photography. Okay, now let's bring some color back into our photos. This technique here is also quite easy to create. In all of these photos, the subject is completely out of focus and therefore partially disappears in the blur. You have two ways to create this effect. You can use the telephoto lens and then fix the focus on an object as close as possible, like your hand. Now you change the framing and point your camera at objects that are further away. Now your image will look blurry and you will get this out of focus effect. The second option would be to use the macro mode of your iPhone. The procedure is exactly the same. However, the macro mode is only available on the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. Especially if you own an iPhone 13 Pro or Pro Max, then you should take a closer look at the macro mode. You can get very creative with it and create interesting compositions. Sometimes you need to prepare a little bit, like here. Sometimes you can just look for interesting small objects and textures. Flowers are almost always suitable. All right. Another interesting idea for users of all iPhones. This photo here was taken through a book page. Shooting through objects can lead to very interesting and creative results. Of course, not only book pages are suitable for this, but all kinds of objects. Be creative and just try a few things. A little different but also interesting are shots through a window, especially when it is raining. This often creates reflections as well. And also through reflections, you can achieve special results. Basically, always look for objects that reflect, like this big window here. As you can see, this is simply a large restaurant that I saw when I was skiing. But of course, you can also bring objects yourself, for example Christmas tree balls. Or you can just bring a mirror and put it somewhere in nature. This kind of technique is called double exposure, and you can do it easily with your iPhone. For this, I stood in front of a white wall wearing a black t-shirt. After that, I edited the photo a bit, added a black and white filter and increase the contrast a bit. The only important thing is that there are very dark and very bright areas in your picture. Now you have to think about what kind of photo you want to combine with it. I just chose a picture that was on my iPhone. 
For the next step, you need the app Snapseed, or another app that features the double exposure effect. You open the portrait photo and select the double exposure effect under Tools. Now add the second photo. And that's it! Write to me in the comments which technique you like best. Or just give me a like as feedback if the video was interesting for you. There will be more iPhone tutorials to come. So stay tuned and see you next time!